let's talk about how to set up a TFTP server on Ubuntu Linux. So first of all, a TFTP server is important because sometimes you have client machines or devices that need a TFTP server. They don't have more complex things. So older devices, Cisco devices and stuff like that tended to do TFTP everything. So in order to start, install a TFTP server, I'm logged in as root and I'm going to do apt install TFTP D dash HPA. That's the server. And then I can get TFTP dash HPA for the client. It's just a D difference, but they're both good to have. So you can do uploading, downloading and testing it all out. Now, once you have it there, you can go ahead and install it or I guess it's start it to so do systemctl start tftpd-hpa to start it. And if you want it to start on boot time, you can enable it as well. All right. Now the configuration files for the tftp server is stored in the, let's see, let's take a look, less etc default tftp ftp d dash hpa directory it's a very simple configuration file so let's take a look at it you can see that all that's in the configuration file is the username that it uses so it uses tftp the directory which is srv tftp the address it says it runs on port 69 that's a udp 69 and the secure option all right so if I want to go to that directory, I can go over to SRV TFTP, and this is the directory for all the files that are being uploaded and downloaded with the TFTP server. If I want to have a file you can download, let's go ahead and create a file. So echo text data test data and put it into my test a txt file so test.txt so now i've created a file right here in this directory it if i know the name of the file i can download it using my tftp server so let's go back to my home directory nice and empty and i'm going to go tftp and i can either type in localhost because that's where i'm going to or i can type in just this right here and it'll ask me and i'll say oh localhost once I get in, I can type in help to see my options. Now there is no, no real help here. It just connects up and then I can do my puts and my gets. So I can do a get test.txt and that will download that file in the background. It doesn't really tell me anything. It just downloads it. I can type in quit. And if I do a directory listing, you can see there is a test.txt file so I can cat that out test.txt and see that it is there. So that is how you do a TFTP server. Just make sure you know what the name of the files are so you can put them and get them. And there you go.